Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm excited for this particular problem here because it, the, it contains a vocab word that's important for the math test um, that a lot of students don't know. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It says translate this sentence into an algebraic equation. So once again, we're kind of doing some direct translation here. They're asking us to take a sentence that's written here in English, you know, and translate it into an algebraic equation, in basically into the language of algebra, my language of symbols and signs. And so um, this particular example is not too challenging uh, because it's not like a scenario, a word problem. It's a word using math words, so it should be relatively simple to put it into math terms, but there's an important word in it that if you don't know it, you're going to be confused. So let's take a look. It says the product of a number m and the quantity of 6. Oh, I was struggling. Well, let me try again. The, I just had to stare at that so long because it didn't make sense. I need to keep reading. Let's try it again. The product of a number m and the quantity of 6 less than m is 18. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> uh, if you feel confused by that wording, well, no wonder. Even the math teacher was confused for a second, and I wrote the problem. So let's figure this out. First of all, what does the word product mean? Let's break this down. Okay, I think I want a highlighter here. So we can kind of just... get this word product down. This is a super important math word, vocab word you should know. You should know the words product, um, sum, difference, product, and quotient. Those are four math words you need to know. Uh, they all have to do with um, expressions, like writing math expressions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division problems, like you guys think of it, but mathematicians call those expressions. Uh, and product here is a multiplication expression. So we got something multiplying. Now it'll tell us what to multiply. It's gonna say the product of something and something. Whenever you say product, you're gonna have things multiplying. They're gonna to have to tell you what things. So take a look. It's a product of a number m and the quantity of six less than m. So there are the two things multiplying, a number m and the second thing is the quantity of six less than m. This is a complex multiplication expression. You know, the first part's easy. Okay, we can write that, a number m. Okay, so the product of a number m. But then watch what I wanna multiply it with. I don't just wanna multiply it with like seven or 11. I wanna multiply it with the quantity of six less than m. I wanna multiply it by an entire expression or a grouping. And so let us open up parentheses so that I can multiply that m by a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna take m and I'm gonna times it by the quantity of six less than m. Okay, so that was that language, the quantity that told me to open up parentheses. So now I just need to think about this part, six less than m. Now be careful, a lot of students would write six less than m, but if you've been tracking with me in any of the videos, you know that six less than does not mean six minus, it means minus six. I'll say that again, six less than means minus six. And what are you gonna minus six from? Well, you'll minus it from the m. So there it is. We have the product of a number m and the quantity of 6 less than m. Okay, now we got to get to this part. Is, that's the easy part, hallelujah. Is, when you say one thing is another thing in math, you are saying they are equal or equivalent. So we're going to use an equal sign and then it is 18. There you go. That says the product of a number m and the quantity of 6 less than m is 18. Now, good news, the only directions here were translate. I don't need to simplify, I don't need to solve, there's no more work I needed to do. I translated, I'm done translating, job over, okay? Now, you could, of course, encounter a problem that tells you to translate and then solve, but this one didn't, and so I am good to go, I am done. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.